So who would like to do the other? Mm -hmm. Go for it. Assalamu alaikum wa In Surah Al-Kahf, ayah number 57, Allah talks about the people who are given a reminder, but they choose to ignore it. Before I talk about this verse, I want to share with you a physical phenomenon. Our body has been gifted with lots of different limbs and muscles. If you fail to exercise a muscle for an extended period of time, you may even lose the ability to use that muscle. For instance, if a person has been laying in bed due to sickness for several months or even a year, when they try to get out of bed later, they may not have the strength in their legs to stand up again. You may actually even lose the ability to walk altogether permanently just by not using that muscle for a long time. Borrowing from that analogy, there's some truth to even our spiritual ability to benefit from a reminder. Allah says in the Quran, uh, Surah Kaf, Ayah 57, which roughly translates to, and who could be more of a wrongdoer than the one who is reminded of the verses of his Lord, but still turns away from them. Allah suggests here that someone is being given a reminder continually and over a period of time they hear these things many 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 times from Allah and he knowingly ignored and avoided it. In other words, in other words, it goes in one ear and out the other. They don't you know, really care about it much. They are exposed to something that can benefit them but they disregard it again and again. Our spiritual heart has the ability to take the reminder and benefit from it just like a muscle, but if we refuse to exercise it, meaning the reminder comes and we refuse to put it to work, then we may lose its ability. Even worse, while a physical muscle might regain its strength, the issue highlighted in this verse is deeper. This individual not only ignores the reminder, but also forgets their past deeds, essentially not considering the importance of repentance or improvement based on their past actions. The Quranic term Qaddamat Yada refers to the deeds one has done in this life and their consequences in the next life. 
the, the, this verse warns of two crimes, ignoring the reminders from Allah and forgetting one's past deeds. As for the punishment for these individuals, Allah says in the Quran, Inna ja'alna ala qulubihim akinna. Allah describes that he places a seal over their hearts, making it nearly impossible for them to understand or be guided again. This seal is similar to an eagle's nest high up in the trees and almost unreachable, signifying that only Allah can remove the seal due to its divine placement. What is the result of this? Preventing them from never understanding anything deeply. In other words, they will continue to listen, they will continue to understand, but never internalize. Sometimes you'll find highly intelligent people and you wonder why why doesn't this make sense to this person? Why can't this reminder get through them? And this could might well be the case that there may be a block placed by Allah because of continual violation over years of not following a reminder. You know, similar to those uh, that have PhD in Quranic studies. They quote ayahs and speak tafsir about it for hours on stage, yet some of them are still non-Muslims yet some of them they have not taken their shahada yet, despite knowing so much about Qur'an. Allah also says, which means, and on top of that, there is a heavy load on their ears. Waqara in Arabic is also known as a sinus in the ear. Waqara over here suggests that when reminders are given, it's very difficult for them to hear it. It's like they get agitated when they are being reminded. Then Allah also says, which means, and even if Prophet Muhammad were to personally invite them to guidance, these people, they will not be able to follow it. SubhanAllah. Like, like forget me reminding them, or like you reminding them, or anybody else. Even the Messenger وسلم, couldn't help these specific people. That's the state they have reached. Allah also says, فَلَنْ يَحْتَدُوا إِذَا أَبَدَا Who could be more of a wrongdoer than these people? Allah is asking this rhetorical question as if to say, no one is worse off than people like these. These people that get reminders continuously and continue and continue and continue to disregard them. So if we have some ounce of goodness left inside of us, Maybe we have been listening to reminders, but maybe they haven't actually done anything for us personally. We can check for ourselves. We can look deep inside our own selves. If we haven't done that, maybe we're heading down the road where we might eventually deserve that lock being placed on ourselves. This ayah is not for you or me to judge others. It's for you and me to think about ourselves. Maybe we need to revisit how sincerely and how strongly we allow the reminder that we are given from anywhere, and any good reminder to actually impact us in a profound way. May Allah make us people of benefit from a reminder, and may Allah not make us make us of people who continue to ignore and forget what they were to themselves. فاستغفروا إنه هو الغفور الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له وشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله هذا وسل وسلم على نبيكم كما أمركم بذلك ربكم فقال إن الله وملائكته يسلون على النبي يا أيها الذين آمنوا سلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم اهدنا في من حليه وعافنا في من عافيه وتولنا في من تولي وبارك لنا وبارك لنا في معاتيه وقنا شر ما قديم إنك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك وإنه لا يدير من ولي تبارك ربنا وتعاليت اللهم إنا نسألك من الخير كله عاجل وعاجل ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم ونعوذ بك من شر كله عاجل وعاجل ما علمنا منه وما لم نعلم اللهم إنا نسألك من خير ما سألك 
abduka wa nabiyyuka wa na'udhu bika min sharri ma 'adha bihi abduka wa nabiyyuka Allahumma inna nas'aluka al-janna wa ma qarraba ilayha min qawlin aw 'amal wa na'udhu bika min an-nar wa ma qarraba ilayha min qawl aw 'amal wa nas wa nas'aluka an taj'al kull qada'a qadaytu lana khayran عباد الله إن الله يعمر بالعدل والإحسان والإيتاء ذي القربة وينحى عن الفحشاء والمنقل والباغي يعيذكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكر الله العظيم يذكركم واشكروه يزدكم واستغفروه يغفر لكم واتقوه يجعل لكم من أمركم مخرجا وقم الصلاة